All right, today I'm gonna give you guys a super quick tip. Uh, if you guys are getting started with your screen printing business, as you know by now, the film piles up fairly quickly. I've been doing this for about two and a half years on my own now and I'm starting to build my clients more and more so I'm stacking film faster than before. And I adopted this idea from Soul Prints, so thank you Soul for the idea. Now I'm gonna share it with the world. So here it is. And I'm gonna leave a link below for, uh, for these folders. So these folders are 14 by 18 inches wide. And the way we're gonna file things from now on, it's not gonna be like I used to do it and just have them in these plastic bags where I could easily see what the art is. That was cool when I didn't have a lot. But now it's starting to get, now it's starting to become more and more. So the way we're gonna do it is drop the film in here, get rid of the old plastic, and just simply label the top. So we're gonna create a box where these can stand. We're gonna have them in alphabetical order. And I'm just gonna go through some of them real quick just to show you guys the process. It's super simple. Today's video is just gonna explain to you guys how to file your films better and more efficiently so that you don't waste time going through boxes or going in your dark room, just leaving them all over the place. This is gonna help you save time and it's gonna make everything look a lot nicer and everything's gonna be neater. Also, you have less chances of ruining the art since, it, since the envelope is enclosed, dust free until you use it next time. So I think this is really cool. I hope that you guys adopt the idea like I did. I'm gonna have the link below for the folder and let's just go through a little bit of work and that's gonna be it for today. We do have a lot of work today and tomorrow. Friday we have the company party at my work and we're gonna call it a week after that. So let's get to it. Cool, so there it is guys. Quick tip for today. Get your folders. Make sure everything is organized at your shop. Make sure you keep your film protected. And as you saw, if you have a little bit of extra film that goes past 14 inches and it, the design's not on it, you can always cut it off like I did and make it fit. So now your films are not gonna look like this. Bent, like this one is bent in here because it doesn't fit. Hope you like it. If you think somebody else can use this advice, then please share the video, thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't. See you guys. Oh, Mew! We got El Christian Alexander in the building. So it's been yeah. a while. And it's been a while. He hasn't been here for a minute or two. You can't you can't cuss still? No. We still can't cuss. That's not what we do around here. So what can I say? Can I just uh, bleep myself? No. So today the reason why he's here is because he's doing a release on some sweaters with the uh, I don't know if, I don't know if I want to mention it. It's a secret, but it's cool as fuck. You just cuss. Oh. See, dude, it's that's like natural. part of my vocabulary. Sorry. You can't cuss, bro. All right, all right. You so he doesn't want to talk about the drop, but 
it's tight. Cool. It's, it's coming out in a couple weeks. Yeah. Brant's on the other room uh, with another client, the Bees Nias. So they're gonna work out the details on the design, and we're gonna get to printing. Just wanted to show you guys uh, the face. Yeah. When you got big Jay Z lips, you gotta. You gotta uh, let me see the lips, bro. Let me you see the lips. Look at they're all crusty. Uh, this guy. Look at that. Uh, they want to see you dance, bro. I know they like how you dance. Wait, they, they, that what they ask for? Yeah, they always ask for you to dance. 